Okay, Vino Black here, folks, and for some color, because it helps show up on the videos pretty good, watch what ends up coming along with Lovejoy. You see that? Right at the end is this new feature that we've got, the new view, and the guy even admits the idea that, you know, he's the only saying so far that he's... Now, see that? Jump out there. Now, it should have been following it all along, so if you keep watching right here, as it gets close, you'll see what I'm talking about, that it jumps out. Watch. You just basically can see it then, okay? So there was more than just Lovejoy. Triangulation, like I had been saying before, that all this stuff has triangulation, and basically the shots originally from the guy that found it in Australia, okay? So the third part might be the very end of the tail, because as we know, as it went around the sun, if it didn't hit at all, and that's what I'm still, I'm still kind of out on a jury of the idea that prove me a front, uh, actually a backside shot, because we know now that the idea, okay, I mean, at least I understand now that the idea that it came around, and we're going to look at some recent shot. Now watch, it'll pop up here. It's going to pop up in here somewhere. There it is. You see? So that was going along with it, and, prob and we know it had triangulation because when the original photos that they found in Australia, all this stuff moves like in a triangulation, okay? So more than likely, there's another one back somewhere in the tail here or something, okay? So you can see that. It's very hard not to see it. You will see it, another the part of the tr a triple. So basically, a three-piece, it's not just a comet, it's not just one piece as it comes by. And you'll see it brighten up again as it comes into the sun. There's another piece right there. You see that? Okay, so play with that. And then uh, the the guys there, they've got, so I haven't even had time to read this yet, so I'm just going to go by this, but we'll go down to where... He says the, you know, I mean, everybody can be wrong, and at least I'm, I'm glad that at least some people are saying the idea that they were wrong, okay? I mean, I can be wrong. I know that. I'm going to be wrong way more than these guys are going to be wrong. But right now, I always take my time before I come up with some synopsis. Uh, presentation of something that the idea that, you know, hey, you know, it just doesn't, you know, but now we pretty much know that Mercury disc catch on fire. It does get flamed. As you can see, the t 2010, and that's why I'm waiting to see. We should see something 2011 from when I already showed you the shots from Soho where it was close. Okay. So we know that it came in and then it flips around and then we get this tail backwards. Let me show you the r most recent, and these are new up to date now of what we got for. And there you go, so you know the time and the date, and then I'll pop it to 400, okay? And they basically have Earth marked here, okay? And then I'll go to another one, and then that, that's what our, we are wondering about all this right here, folks, okay? And it's a triangulation, plus also the center of it, and even more than a triangulation, as you can see down here, is there's like four, okay? And this possibly could be our object at Nehemiah, because i am also got a German guy that sent me footage, and I'm not sure... If it's, I'm just going to say that it's a vi video, the guy's got a standard YouTube license on it, and we'll take a look at it, okay? Now, this will be able to, there's your date and time, everything like that, and you'll see Lovejoy moving away, and we know that that tail, and there is an object that they don't mark on there. We know that Mars is over there in the hole, okay? So remember that when we look at the other shots. And there's what we're interested in. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's all kinds of stuff around it, okay? And then we also got this here. What is that? Okay, because we know that's Earth and Jupiter, okay? And we know Mar uh, Mars is over there. And I'm wondering if this could be wrong, too, because I thought Mercury is supposed to be over there. Okay, Mercury is supposed to be there, and Mars is supposed to be farther away back here by Jupiter. And let me see, and it might even help by the other shots showing that that's wrong. But l right now, okay, this is going to, uh, Lovejoy is going to end up coming out and being out of, away from this shot, okay? on Sechi pretty soon, okay? It's going to end up out of here pretty soon, but it's going to stay around in a high one for a while, okay? And as you see, the 21st is the recent, most recent I got on this. Let me zoom this in and save some tape. Okay, folks, we're zoomed in, zoomed in a 1,000, okay? And then, then the one thing, and there's Earth, okay? And plus, it's going to glow a little bit more than what it is, okay? And also, Jupiter is looking small in this shot, okay? So the, you have to realize, and then the idea also, what the heck is Jupiter next to you right now. Some pretty good big size stuff. Because Earth is looking big there because it's got all the sun from the, the
the sun glare on it in our atmosphere it shows up real bright but what the heck no matter what even if there's just a bunch of them and it makes this large humongous but it's it's humongous just the group in the cluster and the tightness okay so what the heck is this folks and it's right there i mean it's right out our back door and it's probably that I item that we keep on seeing and then it's got a bunch of stuff behind it also and there is a lot of stuff on and then all this grouping here very close to earth and yes asteroid belt asteroid belt but these are planets damn it i mean that's planets for crying out loud because this barely this land it's like dying because as you can see that we all get these magnetics that planets that stay in orbit in in stereo in the sorts on a record player in space this is like dying out because you can see here something's dying okay it used to be magnetical but that it's and so it's going through space so where the hell is it going and there is some also some interesting stuff in this shot in a different area uh, let me see if I can zoom down to 400 here real fast and then we'll pop back up and there was stuff down okay yeah even here below look at that circle below Jupiter okay so very very close to bangs okay not just a big bang bangs we're very close to bangs big bang bangs before big bang and then this cluster here check that out up there okay asteroid belt yes humongous yes okay objects huge yes clusters awesome okay Cl awesome clusters okay uh, Mars I'm not sure if that's a mistake or correct there because these other shots are going to show Mars where I believe it's at up with uh, with uh, Jupiter and we're going to start paying attention to the temperature because we know that Rigel Canteris B is 5,000 Kelvin okay so it's hotter than the Sun even though it's smaller okay so this is position right now so the idea that I believe that is wrong when they're telling us that uh, Mars is there it should be mercury in the well okay because we know folks are like when I'm telling you the well it's in where they blotch out and Mars is way out here behind Earth okay so uh, let's take a look okay Mars is behind Earth but see it's even behind Jupiter so let's pop back to the map real fast and Jupiter should be and why are they not showing us Jupiter on this because Venus is close see this it's wrong because the idea the Sun's right there folks and Mars is there so I'll have to pull up uh, and we love solar images okay so there's the moon right now and there is our Aurora and the north is even off okay north pulls off because that's right there so we should probably get some great earthquakes this weekend I don't know if I have time to pop in on that. I know I'm getting kind of long on here, long tooth on this video talking. And then I'll just look, go across on Soho real fast. Let's see what we got here. And it is flaring good. And I'll be able to show you that in the video. On the 23rd, it's flaring pretty good. So we're going to have some CME coming again. Okay, and let's go to the map again real fast. I missed the map. That's what I'm trying to bring you to the map. And then we have got, where did they do to our CME map? Oh, it's gone. I've been showing too much of it in the video. Yes. Okay, so there's earthquake weakness. Weakness for earthquake right now. Okay. And we know we're off our axis, and we just showed you the bottom polar axis. So, uh... Let's see what we got for anything here. So basically, we're going to go away from here. And this is what I'm saying. We need to start watching this big time, folks, because I think we're losing solar temperature big time, which would be normal. It is the fall, winter solstice. But remember, we're as close to the sun as all time recorded history, okay? So let me get a map of showing you where the heck uh, Venus is at. But I mean, Jupiter. But so anyway, just find Jupiter. Jupiter should be out behind Earth. We're going to look at the other. So we can pretty much trust this shot, and that's Lovejoy there. And I'll zoom in on that because we can trust that the Mars is smaller in a way, and in the B is where the more than likely we're getting this shot. High one B is giving us this shot, and that's the one that's going to stay there the longest because we got Mercury there and Venus there. Okay, but that was wrong on saying that that close shot in the well was uh, Mars. Mercury is up there close in the well. Okay. Yeah, that's th this one here is wrong, okay? That's wrong. And so here's our current map, and let me get back. So, so 
as I cruise down to this fresh shot, you can see there's a planet, folks. You can see the magnetic, okay, to it, that that's there, the solid. It'll go through stereo just about like any of our planets. So whatever these are, it would be interesting to find out, and mainly more than likely are supergiants, okay, because they are big planets, folks. They're not small. As you can see, that one's just as big as Mars, and it's farther away, so it may be even bigger than Mars, okay? And there you go, another one farther away. Just as big, should be bigger than Mars because it's so far away in the shot. Okay, and there's our love joy. And really, it's not going to help me blowing up to a thousand or anything like that. So, there you go. Just remember that that was wrong having Mars in the well. Because, i.e., this shot will show you that basically Mercury, I mean, Mars is out there. Okay, away from the sun. Mercury's over there somewhere, closer to the sun. And, i.e., this shot too, folks. Mercury should be. More than likely, it's around one of these wide heads. It's either Mercury's either here or here, somewhere in the well close. As you can see on the map, that Mercury is in close to the sun, okay? So that shot, basically, I'm pretty sure what they messed up is this is Mars here, because i.e. of the shots, the idea that you know that this was wrong by saying that that's Mars there in the hole and then this shows you the opposite view and it shows you that Mars is right there so that shows you the idea that they were wrong on marking it. They just got Mercury and Mars backed up on markings so let's blow this up so you can see Lovejoy's tail checking tail out more space porn, folks. So that tail goes through space, and you're going to keep seeing it off of H1B behind better because the H1A is going to disappear. And the head goes forward going through space because it's going in the opposite direction. When the head comes back, when this comes back to the Earth, I mean to the sun again, because it's going up past us in Venus and going way out into space, when it loops back to the sun again, it will basically have that head coming in towards the sun again. Right now, this goes out directly at the front end of it, out going into space. It's a vacuum, folks. Fire burns different in space in a vacuum, and basically, it burns way longer in space in a vacuum than fire ever burns. Actually, even fire, they even have proved NASA has. You can check NASA stuff out on f studies on fire in a vacuum. They have proved that fire burns after it goes out in a vacuum in space. When there's nothing left burning, it still just burns. So some fantabulous work here, fantab fantastic work here from uh, uh, the sun grazers, okay? And they are uh, getting human, they're, may, they may, may, you know, admitting a little bit. And I think they're, I don't want them to slow down on giving us stuff though. So if they don't, know, if they want some theories and ideas, then throw it out here. Throw the videos out faster. So I'm going to show you this German video here pretty soon of this was Lovejoy, and like I say, he kind of admits that they were wrong on the Perillion. So keep in mind, folks, my last few videos of one off the ship. Pretty much, we figure we caught this, okay? And we really want to know what the hell it is because it's right there with Earth. There's Jupiter, and there's Lovejoy leaving, and then nobody can say we're not in the Big Bang with all this stuff that's around, and that's Mercury, that's not Mars. We got r wild groups like we've showed earlier in the video, and let's go ahead and go to that German video. And basically I translate this guy's video, folks, basically there, here's his tags translated. Okay, this is what he says down here in his tags. Okay, that's what he says. So we freeze it. Always watch my videos on full screen, folks. And there's his tags. Okay. So you have to translate what he's got on the screen, but basically he's been showing you, he'll show you what we've been showing you down. So I'll just scoot through these real fast. He's got some wild filtered shots here. That. 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 That you see, he's, he's right at the stake out there, so I think it's one of the scientists that down there that's giving me this, like I was asking. So I really appreciate it, because it's the stake to the right of the 
toe line. Some very interesting shots. All right, Santa, later.